Shout out to Brown, Aaron. Boy, Money Brown, he get a lot of money. That's why I call him Money Brown. What's <laughs> <laughs> good, Money Brown TV? What up, what up? Yeah. Yeah. I want to give a shout out to Money Brown TV. Thank you so much for everything. Hey, Brian Garcia here. Yo, 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 what's going on at the fight? Where well, this your boy Money back with another one, man. And this one here is on the welterweight division. We got Terrence T. Bud Crawford, the three division world champion, the former undisputed champion, the current WBO welterweight world champion. We have Showtime Sean Porter, who is the former two time welterweight world champion. And we got Timothy the Desert Storm Bradley, who is a two division world champion, future Hall of Fame fighter. Terrence Crawford, future Hall of Famer, Sean Porter, future Hall of Famer. But Terrence T. Boy Crawford, to me, has made Timothy Bradley apologize for talking that shit about him and Sean Porter. It's not known by nobody, and they fight not work pay per view. I want y'all to listen to what Tim Bradley had to say, and Monty Brown to be back with the great assessment family. Well, Crawford, <laughs> I know you've been reading the text on different topics, various topics. And uh, I think that, uh, you know, I owe you an apology. Uh, first of all, you know, I get paid for my opinion on different topics, various topics in boxing. OK, um, I don't have a malice or any kind of negativity towards you, I would say. And I and I would also say that, like, when I say things, I just come from the heart, man. I speak from the heart and what I truly believe. And there was probably some things that I said last week that, you know, you didn't agree upon, especially about the thing about the I asked 20 random people, uh, you know, who do, do you know who Terrence Crawford is? Do you know who Sean Porter is? And all of them said no. Well, you know, let me add on that. They didn't know who the hell I was either. So <laughs> you're not, not alone, man. But uh, <laughs> I want to apologize, bro. I want to apologize uh, for some of the things that I said, bro. Uh, I hope you can forgive me, man. Um, I didn't mean any any kind of harm whatsoever. I never want to take food out of someone's mouth. And I just want to put just a public announcement and say that I apologize to you and Sean Porter. For sure, for sure. Apology accepted. Apology accepted. Now, as you see, Turnsboy Crawford accepted the apology, you know, like a G, like a real man. You did. And we all know um, Bud and, and, and Bradley got history. They came up in the gym. And they supposed to be friends. I mean, they supposed to be friends, some like brothers, but some seem a little off right there. And I'm going to talk about it. Some seem a little off. But Bradley was dead ass wrong to say those things about Bud and this man, Showtime Sean Porter. Because these guys are going into a fight, bro. They're going into a fight, a pay per view fight. They're going into a pay per view fight. And once people are going into a pay per view fight, and you are an ESPN analyst, Right, working for top rank, and this is a top rank card. They got the they got the lead here. Your only job is to put light on this fight. You understand? Showtime Sean Porter is a hell of a fighter. Came off a pay per view with Earl the True Spence Jr. and they did good numbers. They did good numbers. You understand what I'm saying? So you never know what Showtime Sean Porter turns Bud Crawford want to do. You just have to wait until the, the fight is made. And see how many people press that red button about pay per view, man. But other than that, your job is to shine light on, on Showtime, Sean Porter, and Terrence Bud Crawford, bro. You the one, Tim Bradley, that said none of these PBC fighters wanted to fight uh, Terrence Bud Crawford. You said that, Tim Bradley. And now that he got a PBC fight, right? You gonna try to shit on it? You know what I mean? That was some punk ass shit to me. That was some punk ass shit to me. Y'all know I don't rock with punk ass shit. Y'all know I don't rock with no excuses. For when somebody got a fight coming up on pay-per-view and people trying to stop their bread. You know what I'm saying? Just like I said about Canelo and Platt. It's a weak-ass shit they come up with them excuses. So, when I look at this situation, like I say, Terrence Bill Crawford accepted the apology. That was cool. That was cool. But, you know, when Bradley say, you know, I don't got no type of ill will, no malice, nothing towards you in my body. Like, if y'all was really close like that, and if y'all was really talking like that, you shouldn't have to express those type of feelings to turns Bill Crawford. You feel me? This should have been a phone call. You know what I mean? Like, the, the things that should have came out of Bloody Mouth was, man, Crawford, what's, what's up, man? You know, we talked about this on the phone. I said, I, I apologize on earth, but I apologize to you on the phone. I called you up when I said that type of shit. And, you know, I was tripping, man. You know, this, that, and the third. But you didn't get that. 
you got you heard some things last week, da 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 this, da 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 that, right? So they not that close. Bradley and Bud is not that close. They not friends like that. So Bud, you do all that capital for Terrence Crawford, and y'all not even friends like that, bro. Really. You talk all that shit about, oh, Earl Spence is ducking him. Oh, nobody want to fight him for PBC. Oh, we not doing business over here and this, that, and all that shit. You talk all that shit, and y'all not even close like that, bro. You do it because Bud is a company, man, and I ain't got no problem with it. You feel me? Ride for your boy if, if that's who you, who you like and you feel like he going to beat this person and that person. But don't shit on the man once the man got his biggest fight coming up, right? Because Showtime Sean Porter is his biggest fight, hands down. And y'all can't stop disrespecting Showtime Sean Porter. He's an A-class fighter. Sean Porter is an A-class fighter. You understand what I'm saying? Y'all cut that B minus B plus shit out. He's an A-class fighter. Hands down like 630. Condition to be on point. Go into the ring all the time. Give everything he got. He do got a good skill set. You understand what I'm saying? He's in every fight. Just because he lost a few fights doesn't mean that his talent ain't up there. That's why he's still a top fucking welterweight right now. Let that sink in. Let that sink in. You understand what I'm saying? So now, that Terrence Boyle Crawford has his biggest fight coming up at Showtime Sean Porter. Right? Your job was to put light on this shit. Put light on it. People already out here dogging it out talking about it ain't pay-per-view worthy. This shit is pay-per-view worthy, bro. It's pay-per-view worthy. Terrence Boyle Crawford get his biggest fight? We know Sean Porter go bring it? Everybody want to see, could, could Bud beat Sean Porter worse than, than um, Thurman? Brooke or Earl, everybody keep talking about Bud is going to knock him out. Bud is going to knock him out. They can be the nerve. You can sell that shit. You can sell that shit. You feel me? You can sell it. Straight up. You can sell it, bro. And we're going to see if they sell it that way. But at the end of the day, bro, um, he did, he owed that man an apology. Just like he owed Sean Porter an apology for Sean Porter. Come on. Because they're supposed to have Porter on next. They owe Sean Porter. You, you owe Sean Porter an apology as well. You know what I mean? And then he knew to come out and say, oh, they didn't know me neither. I said this in the video before he even said it himself. That's how y'all know Monty B be on point. That's how y'all know I be on point. When he said nobody knows them, I said, Tim, don't no motherfucker know you, bro. And I'm quite sure everybody out there that's got some sense in their head probably said the same goddamn thing. Don't nobody even know your ass, Tim Bradley. Right? You didn't hit pay-per-view until Manny Pacquiao. But nobody can knock that. Nobody can say, oh, man, Tim Bradley and, paper, man, and Manny Pacquiao ain't work no goddamn pay-per-view. Don't nobody know no goddamn Tim Bradley. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know if you and Marquez did pay-per-view, which I probably did. You feel me? But nobody shitted on the Tim Bradley pay-per-view fight. Even if they felt like Pacquiao whooped their ass all three times. Nobody, you know, shitted on the Tim Bradley fight. Nobody said, man, Manny Pacquiao whooped that boy ass the first fight. We shouldn't be buying pay-per-view the second time or the third time. Motherfuckers bought it. And you got your bread. You feel me? You got your bread to where you even made your wife your manager and you kept that bread at home. And that's a, a smart move. But nobody is knocking Tim Bradley Hustle. So don't try to knock Terrence Bull Crawford and Showtime Sean Porter. I said the same thing about Nestor Gibbs, punk ass from the boxing voice. Yes, Nestor Gibbs is a punk ass motherfucker from the boxing voice. Because he tried to knock Earl Spence and Mikey Garcia Dollar, right? He did the same shit Tim Bradley did, but the only difference is he didn't apologize. Nestor Gibbs from the Boxing Voice did the same thing Tim Bradley did, talking about Mikey Garcia and Earl Spence is not worth pay-per-view. He said that Earl Spence and Mikey Garcia will only sell 50,000 uh, pay-per-view buys, and they sold um, 300 plus, right? And he never came back and apologized. Never. Didn't get Earl an apology, didn't get Mikey an apology. And that's why I don't mess with suckers, bro. I don't mess with fake motherfuckers, and I keep that same energy with everybody. With everybody. And I don't hold back nothing. I speak my mouth, and I'm going to stand on what I say. You dig? But turns Bill Crawford, Showtime Sean Porter is going to be one hell of a fight, fam. It's going to be a classic. You got a lot of people think that turns Bill Crawford going to knock out Showtime Sean Porter. I disagree with that. I think Terrence Bud Crawford wins, but I don't think he knock out Sean Porter. I think Sean Porter make this fight tough. Sean Porter's working his ass off. Bud Crawford explained that Sean Porter is great at what he do. You know what I mean? Sean going to try to get into his wheelhouse, and he's going to try to take Bud to another place. He's going to try to take Bud to another place, and I believe Sean Porter will take him there. But I think Bud Crawford is that good and that talented enough to pull that shit out. He's going to pull it out. You understand? He's going to pull it out. But this fight is going to be a great fucking fight. 
everybody should buy it if you out there if you like if you went to great fights this is one of the best fights of the year this is one of the best fights of the year and y'all don't want to miss it man don't fall into the notion of oh sean porter got three losses on his resume that don't mean shit because two of those um losses it was close fights and the one that he lost to earl spence he made that shit a tough fight but earl got an a4 to me but nonetheless sean porter's gonna go in there and bang the fuck out of bud he gonna bang with his ass he's gonna bang but bud is gonna bang back that's the beauty of this fight. This is Bud's first big fight. This is the fight that everybody want to see him fight. One of the top dogs from PBC. He finally got it. He finally got it. And now we got to go out there and, and show that we wanted this. Don't show up. Don't try to not show up. Show that we wanted this fight. You know what I mean? Yes, I talk a lot of things about Bud in this business, but at the end of the day, I'm going to support him. I'm going to support Porter because Bud is a hell of a fighter. He's the number two welterweight in the world, right? He's on everybody pound for pound list, and he's a hell of a fighter. So, Tam Bradley, you was in the wrong. You apologize like a man. I do respect that. But your job is to fucking put light on this fight, not tear it down. Not tear it down. So, everybody tune in. November 20th, it's going to be a hell of a fucking night of fighting, right? We'll see how the undercourt turn out. But Showtime Sean Porter and Turns Bud Crawford is worth pay per view. And Money Brown stand on that. Good luck to Showtime Sean Porter. Good luck to Turns Bud Crawford. Give us a hell of a fight. Make it worthy. Until then, this your boy Money. It's the NSBC move. It ain't nobody safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. If you want to donate, OG Money on Cash App. TreyHound to 52 at gmail.com on PayPal. If not, just tell a friend, tell a friend. Hit the subscribe button. Like, comment, share the videos. And y'all know how your boy get down, man. Big dog status, family.